check the combined length of the distance tube and the expansion sleeve. Measure from the top of the distance tube to the bottom of the expansion sleeve. This gives the required embedment depth for the anchor. To ensure the primary hole bit is within tolerance for the anchor bolt being used, check the bit using the proper go-no-go no go gauge. If the gauge fits on the bit but will not slide up and down on the bit, then the bit is acceptable. To make sure the minimum embedment depth is achieved, measure and mark off the combined length of the distance tube and the expansion sleeve on the primary hole bit. Be sure to include the required length of the conical nut which has not yet been drawn up into the expansion sleeve. This additional length required for the conical nut is found in the manufacturer's literature. With the use of this one half inch bolt, we are required to add one inch. Next, the undercut blades must be checked for tolerance. Stand the tool on its end, push down to fully extend the blades. Place the proper go-no-go -go gauge on the blades. Note the position of the indicator pin. To make sure the blades are fully extended, the indicator pin must be at the bearing sleeve end of its travel. If the gauge can be inserted onto the tool and the blades touch the gauge, the blades are within tolerance. If not, the blades must be changed. The depth at which the undercut is formed in the concrete is controlled by the position of the bearing sleeve. This sleeve should be set to a length equal to the minimum embedment depth. This is checked by measuring the distance between the bottom of the bearing sleeve to the top of the fully extended undercut blades.